Hi, today we will have a look into another model of uh, Siemens X-Ray controller. So this one is the one that was badly repaired. As you can see. And in fact one of the screws was just attached with electrician tape around it. It is not a very professional work. So we have here uh, two plugs, but this time they are female plugs, not male as on the mouse controller. And we have the stop emergency stop button. It is a controller for the C arm. So before we remove the bottom, I wonder if we can do anything about this thing. Ah, oh, maybe. It looks like, yes. So here we have two little springs and little push button in the middle. Interesting. Is it possible to undo this? It is really well beaten out this thing in bad condition anyway. Oops. And yes, and we have some more rubber covering the uh, buttons. It looks like all the contacts in this are completely enclosed in rubber. It is interesting. I wonder if it will be possible to remove this plastic piece and have a look, better look inside. We will see. So, for now, I will undo the bottom. It is not necessary to undo completely the metal plate, so we will save some time here. Okay. And here we have the annoying Philips head screws or uh, posy drive or something, but they are weird and in fact none of my screwdriver fit correctly inside, either Philips or posy drive. They are not terribly good these ones. Okay. So you can see the very nice stop button. One more. So, what will we have in this? Uh, we have this, you can see. As expected, the it is full of dust for some reason, this one. The cables here are damaged and it is exactly like the other one. You cannot do anything until you haven't removed the circuit at the bottom. But first for it you need to undo the emergency stop button, which is easy enough. Luckily. Okay. And two screws. So you can see we have a lot more parts here on the PCB. Okay, so it looks like the uh, keyboard PCB is more or less the same than the other one, the previous one, the mouse controller. But here is what we have. I will undo X4. So for the records, the, no, they are not the same, same size, so it is good. No problem. Okay. So here is what we have on here first. You can see we have quite a lot of, of stuff on this one. Uh, Fabrimex DC to DC conver power converter. Some uh, EPCOS. Uh, filtering inductor, some uh, MOSFET or uh, voltage regulator here, one more EPCOS inductor here it seems, and we have one Infineon 
clip. Here is the model number for you. And we have what seems to be two uh, ROMs or EPROMs. One is written boot and one is written application. So this looks uh, very much like some uh, RAM memory. So it looks like we have a processor in this to process uh, something. So it is not a dummy controller box. Just all putting uh, some some signals. It is actually processing stuff. Quite amazing. Other side, uh, these clips have a weird number and a weird logo. Seventy four FC five hundred seventy three D here. So this is interesting. Lot of stuff happening here, obviously. Okay, the bottom of the case is just the bottom of the case. The keyboard we did already look at the keyboard previously, so we know there is nothing on the other side, just the the switches for the buttons and little LEDs. So now we will try to undo this controller thing on this one we will try to open it for good so for this I need to undo the four big screws I did put in this quite badly in fact I do not know if I will reassemble this one at all considering its condition Okay, a few seconds and we are good. To go. Okay, so this is coming off. This is not coming off because this hole is too small. And I have to drive this thing through the hole. Okay. Here yeah, we are, so we can see. I really wonder how to remove. So this looks suspiciously like a slotted screw blocked by a circular spring, but it is not a screw. You cannot, in fact, you can turn it, but nothing happens. So I wonder if it is a pin you have to push through. And I wonder how you could remove this thing here. I see some kind of a clip for show sure inside. Let me try to pry it open. As it is already in bad condition anyways. No thing serious can happen here. Is not cooperating at all. On these buttons here, I was not able to remove them. So let me try a little bit more, maybe. But not uh, okay. I can see they are put from the inside, obviously. Yes, because we. Uh, there is a lip all around which is bigger than the hole. So, on the screw at the top. Very, very interesting. Um, let me try one more time here. No. So it looks like a cold turn onto a clip, but it will not turn because of uh, all the stuff in the way here. In fact, I did already try pretty hard. So, this thing 
I would really love to undo it. Considering its condition, I guess it is time for this. Um, oh no, we are talking. Okay, so this is obviously junk. We have a very nice cap here, so this is broken. But we have, as you can see, a flat flex with all the contacts soldered on it. Quite nice. So this is very solidly attached to the shaft here, obviously. And now I wonder if I can do anything about these little Torx screws. Let me first try to lift this cover. I do not see how it is attached at all. We have nothing behind the sticker. So there is obviously a clip on this side here. Yes, it is somewhat attached on this side. Maybe if I use this until the bottom. No, still no. Bon. Okay, so let's undo the tox screws. It will be more efficient, I guess. If I find the matching bit. Of course, this one is too big. It will be this one. It is coming off for sure. These screws at the other side have uh, red paint, so I guess it means you really do not want to undo them. Is it doing anything? I don't think so. So, oh, now, now, uh, something is happening, which is exactly what I do not want. The wall back assembly is coming off with the wires. In the way, so either I unsolder the wires, and I can uh, unroute them, or I try to figure it now why. It will not come off this thing. Swiss quality, yes. So we can see a little bit the mechanism at least. Seems quite nice. And seems very delicate. Um, it is amazing. It doesn't want to come off this cover. So considering this one is already more or less junk, I guess for the name of science it will be time to cut it open with some proper tool. So I think I will dremel this. Where is my happy dremel? Here. I have, yes guys, I am dreaming a piece that is probably worth several hundred of euros. You can see how powerful is this tool, it is quite amazing. Even in plastic, 
it will stop turning. Guys, I really need a good Dremel, so I guess I am most of the way through the plastic, yes, and here we are at least. And what was attaching this? Okay, we have two clips on this side here, so if I reinstall it just for the hell of it, It means I need to pry out here. Okay, it might be useful for the next one. And as you can guess, the part is ruined. Here we add the little wipers and two more inside. So I guess I did ruin them, but anyway, the carbon track. The enzyme is in very bad condition too, so... Okay, we have wires for the thing itself, and wires, wires for the wipers here, and wires for the buttons. So, considering this one is already junk, we can go forward and Completely take this apart. So this is the broken piece, which might be possible to replace, by the way. If it is bad, you can replace it. When you know how to open the damn cover. And we have very nice uh, parts. I guess I will undo this PCB first. So this one is ruined, but anyway it was already in a bad shape, so... It is a sacrificial one for the letting the other survive. Or maybe getting spare parts to repair another one, so... Okay, so I will... Cut these wires, I guess it is the best thing to do. With my trusty Chinese miniature cutters. So the other similar one with a uh, joystick loose inside, I will uh, try to re-glue the standoffs and see if it is possible. If not, I will have to do the same repair because I would like to keep on at least one of this model for my collection. Okay, so. This part is now coming off, and we have a very nice view of the wall assembly. So first about this PCB, one carbon track sensor here, and the next now I really need to undo this piece. So this is riveted in here. This seems just to be stuck in place and attached, kept under, kept under pressure with this spring. 
So the next step is really to undo uh, this part, which I have no clue of how to proceed. So as I said previously, uh, this will not turn. These are not screws, and if I turn it, nothing will happen. They will not come out. So let me figure it out with a vice and a hammer, and I will be right back. So it looks like vice, vice and hammer are overkilled. I can just pull on them with pliers. This below, if it is not damaged, I will be able to retrieve it. Uh, this one is not really easy to access, by the way. Uh, let me try this. I do not like this design really. Why not putting a screw or something easy to remove? Mm, perfect way to win a tool. Either way, okay, here we are. So now this is coming off. I need to unroot the wires from the middle. Here is the controller part with rubber piece. Here I can salvage to use on another one if necessary. But I am thinking, in fact, if you want to reuse it, you need to do all what I did just do. So maybe no. Okay, we have here our little um, buttons module. We have the spring. We have this. You can see completely ruined uh, Teflon or. Uh, High density plastic piece. And we have here our main unit. So here are all the parts. This seems to be a very nice uh, quality uh, brass piece. As you can see. I will keep this in this condition. We have the electronics here, the broken wiper here, and the other modules of the case. So about this part, they are machined aluminium, very very nice quality. This is the uh, limiter piece, I guess, that will guide your um, movements. It works with, yes, with this thing. Okay, and it is all. So at least for science, I did open one of the joysticks. Now we know how they are made. And the other ones will hopefully survive. So, considering the current condition of this uh, controller, I will not put it back together, as you can guess. Uh, this may be candidate for uh, tinkering. Trying to uh, retro this. I will at the same time uh, salvage the button module, but the issue with this one is the wire is in very bad condition. 
I have, I have parts everywhere on my bench, by the way. So let me undo this. So one thing with torque screws, it works better when you are using the correct size of torque driver. It is quite annoying, but it is the low. Okay, so. I guess there is no surprise in this. It will be the regular thing. So I am left with a pile of parts, at least. I can salvage. Okay, so here, uh, it is interesting on this one, we have a different model of buttons and LEDs. Still very nice quality, by the way. And these uh, button modules are different also of what we saw in the mouse part. They are a lot lighter, not the same uh, quality. And they are almost done, so there is one thing. On the mouse controller I did pop out this uh, plate, and it is the same thing here I guess. Yes, you can pop out the plate. Interesting, and you have... Uh, Membrane keyboard which was already damaged here by the way. Okay, so this one is not coming back together, but at least I have a few nice parts to reuse, including the nice stop button. And stop is exactly what I am going to do with this video now. So See you soon for the next part. Bye bye.